so uh today hey what am i saying i'm hungry that's what happened. that's what's happening <laughs> i'll be back what to do babies welcome back to my channel um my name is mpo for those who don't know who i am and this is my channel mpo bubbly which is the same handle i have on instagram and twitter and you should probably go and follow me there because you know <laughs> so um in today's video i am going to be talking about my journey from high school to finally getting into med school and how that happened and how i did that and i'm also going to be sharing some tips for people who want to do the same journey and also uh, going to be sharing some of the mistakes that i think that i did that i'm trying to get you to avoid this is a video that is going to help those who are in matric going into varsity and also those who are maybe already in varsity but want to change and get into medicine i have some tips for both groups of people and yeah obviously if you're lower than matric like grade 11 grade 10 this will help you in the future when it is time for you to apply and everything i also have some of the um submission dates for the applications the closing dates so that should be helpful so if you are very interested in hearing all about that or just want to hear me speak and get some information then continue watching this video oh before i start if you see me looking here i have notes that i have written here just to make sure that i'm giving the correct information and just making sure that i say everything that i need to say in this video so my journey started when i was in matric um I applied for varsity like any other matric student. I think it might have been grade 11. I don't remember. But I did apply in matric. And then um, I only applied and finished applications to three universities. Which was actually my first mistake. But I'm still going to talk about the mistakes that I made. Um, I only applied to three universities. Two of them said no. Um, because of my NBT results. Another mistake that I made. Um... I assume because of my NBT results. They obviously didn't give me feedback, but I think it was because of that. And then when results finally came out at, in January, um, the only place I still had hope for was VITS. So I went to VITS. They said they had accepted me for my second and third options, but my first option was pending. So I went to VITS to go find out what was happening and what pending means because people were getting accepted, people were getting to registration and like things were happening. So I went to VITS, um, to the admin office. I spoke to the lady who was there. She said to me that on her side, it seems as though medicine was full and the only thing she could do for me was put me into BSC. Um, at the time, I had no idea what BSC was and what was going to happen. So she explained the whole process to me that I can put you in BSc and then you can later then apply to get into a program which then gets you into medicine which is the GIMP program that I'm going to speak about later. So she said to she said to me that that's my only option at the moment. So I was like, okay, cool, put me into uh, BSc and like we'll see what happens. Kopeli, let let's just go with the flow. Um, got into BSc, got there my first year, super excited, you know, meeting new people and I'm in VIT. I mean personally for me it was a dream you know so i'm in vits i'm meeting all these amazing people in my bsc program i'm making friends soon found out that my friends and i and a bunch of my classmates and i all really were only in bsc just to get into medicine and everyone's plan was literally the same thing we're all just gonna do this and then hopefully get into gimp to eventually become doctors so i soon realized that the competition was pretty stiff and that like we have to be honest with each other not all 200 300 of us are going to get into medicine they probably if even are going to take maybe 20 30 people which is only 10 percent of the class so i started thinking of coming up with other plans i spoke to my parents and we agreed that i should probably apply again to medical school to all the other medical schools um even though my dream was to do medicine at VITS specifically. Um, 
I applied to all the other medical schools. Oh, sorry. I also spoke to this other gent. Um, he was a table doctor for us in our program in first year. He was doing his master's. And he had told us that he had studied medicine. I mean, he had tried to get into medicine for the past two years now. And he hadn't been accepted through the GIM program. So that just carried on putting doubts in my mind. Like that I wasn't going to make it or that I wasn't going to be able to get into the program, that I wasn't going to be one of the chosen ones and things like that made me doubt myself. And also this guy was doing his master's. So I assumed he was a pretty smart guy and he had passed this degree like full on and he had done the best that he could. And he said that he just couldn't get into it. So as I said, that made me then start reconsidering my options of this whole game thing and actually applying to other medical schools. The one including the ones that i hadn't applied to before so what i did is i applied as though i was taking a gap year that year that i did um the bsc i didn't apply as though i had already gotten into a degree because someone had also told me that when you apply as though you are already in varsity your chances of being accepted are not as high as school leaving matrix because then they know that at least you have like a backup option if i have to say that so i applied as though i had taken a gap year for that entire year and i reapplied at all the other medical schools and i got in and had i given up that wouldn't be my reality because although i do have a few friends that are in medicine now through the bsc route i just i had too much doubt in myself too much doubt was already sown in my mind and i just wanted to get the journey of my life started already knowing exactly what it is that i wanted to do because i know that i wanted to be a doctor and i didn't see myself doing anything else so now i'm gonna go on to the mistakes that i think that i made that i think that you can avoid making for first the matriculants and then also for the people who are maybe already doing a degree uh talking about the graduate entry medical program so the first mistake that I made that I've already mentioned is that I didn't apply to every single medical school there was in South Africa. Um, at the moment in South Africa, at the time when I was applying, I think there were seven or eight. Right now, I can confirm and I've checked it out. There are nine medical schools in South Africa that are currently active and like taking students for 2021. Um, the nine medical schools are um Sifako Mahato Health Sciences University also known as SMU the University of Pretoria UP um the University of Cape Town UCT the University of the Witwatersrand uh Wits, um Stellenbosch University UKZN which is the University of KwaZulu Natal um UFS which is the University of Free State the University of Limpopo and Walter Sisulu University so those are the nine universities that are currently open for applications and taking students and they have active medicine programs. There are two universities which say that they are opening medical schools within the next year or two. And the first one is NMMU, which is Nelson Mandela Metropolitan University. They say that they will be ready to for intake in 2021. Um, currently on the website, I didn't see anywhere where you can apply for medicine at the moment and where it says that the medical school is up and running, but it says that they will be ready for intake in 2021. So just keep checking that website and just keep making sure and just maybe every two or three weeks, check the NMMU website just to see what it is that they're up to and if those applications have opened. The second university that says that they will be taking in medicine, they don't have a time on it yet, um, is Northwest University. Their website does say that they will be um, taking up they are get in the process of opening a medical school for MBCHB, which is medicine. So check that website out as well. In terms of applying to the universities that I've mentioned, um, you should apply right now. The minute you see this video, you should apply because a lot of them are closing soon. I know um, right now that UP as well as UFS are closing on the 30th of May, which is the end of this month. This is for the 2021 intake even with this whole corona pandemic thing, the applications are out. And then UKZN as well as Stellenbosch are closing on the 30th of June. And then SMU, UCT, WITS are closing on the 31st of July. And then for University of Limpopo and Walter Sisulu, I couldn't find 
the closing dates but i am sure that they are going to be closing by the end of july if not the end of this month so just make sure that as soon as you see this you go and apply now the second mistake so okay in that regard make sure that you send out nine applications i know it's not easy and i know that it can be expensive especially because almost all these universities have application fees just try to apply to as many universities as you can because you don't want to be stuck with no options so the second point is that you should study for your nut and you should get that written as soon as possible and you should try to get the best mark you can because for me personally i think that that was the one thing that may have been a negative on my application um it's not that i failed but if you take my results my matric results and then you take my nbt results it looks like they were written by two completely different students and two students who have nothing to do with each other like those marks are completely different so um, make sure that you get a good mark for your nbt which is the national benchmark test um right now i think they aren't writing just check the website but i did see a whole because of the pandemic i did see a whole um newsletter thing about what they were saying and what they are what the plans are in terms of the nbt test with regards to this pandemic just keep checking that website and making sure that you know what's up and that you write one because a lot of the universities that i mentioned are saying that a lot of the universities that are mentioned that i mentioned before are saying that an nbt is a requirement now that leads into my third point which is that you should check the requirements for an nbt i mean for your application check what is required of you because with me even though i did apply to like five universities like i only applied fully to three the two that i didn't apply to they needed an essay and i just didn't write the essay or i didn't or i wrote it and i didn't submit it on time so important to check requirements check what they require from you in order to apply and also check the dates on which those applications close make sure that you know exactly when the dates are and then the final thing that i want to say is if you want to get into medicine especially as a matric student make sure that all your subjects are at least above 70 percent that is the minimum required um it's i'm not saying that you're gonna get in just because all your results are 70 percent i'm saying that it gives you a better chance if you make sure that all your subjects are 70 percent and above so just try to keep to that and then now with the gimp program which is the graduate entry medical program this is the program for people who are studying something else but want to get into medicine they are requirements at the moment the only place that i know that offers that is vits um i don't know about any other universities um i heard somewhere that up also offers a similar program so you can just check that out so what this program does is when you finish your degree they then put you into third year of medicine so you don't really do the whole six years or five if you're at ufs you do they put you into third year and then you start from third year until sixth year the requirements for this program are that you have a 60 percent average for your final year so all your marks need to be 60 percent and above again that is the minimum that doesn't mean that you're going to get in just because you have the 60 percent um i have some friends who made these requirements and still didn't get accepted and the friends that i know that did get in they were above and beyond and absolutely did amazing so you need to just do the best that you can and then you also need to have um physics biology and chemistry at a first year level so you should have at least done them in first year and finally you have to write the vits placement test this test is just a test where it's like an nbt but for the people who are in varsity so it's just a test for them to see if you are going to be placed if you do well in that test your chances of being placed are higher um i can obviously then ask i have some friends that wrote the test and got in and whatever if you do need more information on that just let me know i can ask for tips or maybe things that they ask or what you need to focus on for the test and i will definitely make a video for that about you just let me know and yeah that is all i think you need to know about getting into medicine whether from high school or in varsity i just want to say just if you believe that you are meant to do medicine don't ever give up on it because if i had then i wouldn't be where i am today and 
I just don't want anybody to feel like it's the end of the world if they don't get accepted the first time or the second time. Because also, I have actually seen testimonies on Twitter of people who've maybe applied six, seven, eight times to medicine and they maybe got in on the ninth or tenth time. So you should probably never give up and it's never too late. I hope this video was super informative and helpful for everybody and I'm going to keep making more videos about medicine and about med school and what you think med school is and what it actually is and what it isn't and bringing my friends on and people to talk about it and I hope that we grow together in this medicine thing and we're going to keep doing challenges and all of these amazing things on the channel. So just keep watching, get your friends to subscribe, get their friends to subscribe, their aunts, their uncles, their dads, their brothers, their sisters, their moms, everybody, get the whole, send out that link, get everybody to subscribe so that we can get this family growing. We're trying to get to 200 subscribers by the end of May. Um, please help me in reaching this pinnacle. And I love you guys so, so much. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so sorry I made you wait for this one, but it is here and I'm hoping to drop another one next week. Love you all so, so much. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and follow me on my socials, bro. Like, what do you mean? Why aren't you following me? Go follow me now, now. Like, I'm gonna give you a moment. Go. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>